I've just come fresh from the Red Hook crit, where, to be honest, I was terrified. But I needed all the help I could get, and look, were kind enough to sort me out with one of their bikes, the 875 Madison. Look has a huge reputation for innovation and cutting edge technology of their carbon bikes and have long been the choice of Olympic and world champions. And well, me. The great thing about fixed gear bikes is their simplicity. There's literally nothing to them. And that's why I think we all love them. Many of you will know about fixed gear bikes from the world of track cycling. But last weekend, I decided to do something crazy and I entered a fixed gear criterium. Suddenly, it wasn't the bike that was complicated, but the racing. Taking wide lines because you're pedaling through every corner and judging your speeds because braking is basically, well, a lot more difficult when you have to backpedal instead of just pulling a lever. But it also makes racing incredibly exciting. I've raced criteriums for years, but this bike has changed how I raced compared to the normal bike. And to be honest, I loved it. The 875 is a versatile track frame, and mine is in this vibrant yellow, which gives a nod to the Mondrian colors that look has been long associated. The cross sections are aerodynamically optimized to minimize drag, and well, looks pretty sleek also. The 875 features a completely different carbon layout compared to the road frame. It features a higher modulus and higher resistance carbon, and actually, look says it's 15% stiffer than its equivalent road frame. And look reckons it has to be this much stiffer to deal with those warp bombing track sprinters that are putting out a lot of power. Thinking about it, a bit like me. I should probably point out that this is a single speed track bike, so it's got no bottle cage mounts or derailleur mounts. So it gives it this really sleek, cool look. I also was riding 40 centimeter wide bars and a 110 stem made of aluminium. And that's actually the material of choice when riding a red hook because, well, there are a lot of crashes, as you can probably see by the blood on my frame. <laughs> Other bits I should probably point out is that I was riding a Miche Pistard crank set and I was actually riding 165 cranks which is a lot shorter than I'd normally ride and that's because you have to pedal around the corners on a street criterium circuit. And also to help this is that the bottom bracket is lifted higher in the geometry and this is because you really don't want to hit a pedal when you're going around a corner because that will force the bike to lift off and well it probably won't end well. I opted for a 50 on the front and a 14 on the back. This is a fairly big gear, but it's a fast circuit and, well, it actually did me rather well. It means you're able to slow down in the corners and then get back on top of the gear on the straights. Other riders opted for smaller gears or even bigger gears, but this one suited me well. I was running these Corima carbon aerodynamic wheels, which are 47 millimeters deep. I then went for the Continental Pro Limited 25 millimeter width tires. These are perfect for the event. It was wet and slippery, and I was running 60 PSI, which sounds low, but that was actually perfect for the job. Moving up from the wheels and tires, I was using a Physique 31.9 diameter seat post as you can see, I've got my Red Hook crit number, number 303. Then moving up, I was using a Physique Antares saddle with carbon rails. This is a personal choice of mine. I love the shape and it's a super comfortable all-round saddle. These are the Look Keo pedals. Super reliable and perfect for the job in hand. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, then give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see Ollie suffering on the Everest challenge, it's worth a watch, I have to say, then click down here.